Hi, I'm Ross, Lifetime Natural Bodybuilder. Before I start today's video, I'd just like to take a few seconds to remind you that I offer online coaching via my website exclusively for natural lifters. Be it a one-off consultation or a monthly plan, there's something for everyone. There's plenty of links on the website. All my programs are fully personalized. I spend a lot of effort and a lot of time making sure that my clients get the results that they want. Um, so enough of that, we'll move on to the video now. And today's topic is the bench press and how to train around or through shoulder pain. So things that you can do to make the bench press feel more comfortable if you're experiencing shoulder pain. In general, the bench can be quite a troublesome exercise for a lot of people. It's very sensitive to form. Um, a lot of people have quite poor shoulder health in general as well, which doesn't help. For myself, I benched too frequently, too heavy, and with improper form when I was younger, and it's built up a lot of problems with my shoulders. And for many years, I avoided bench um, and chose to use dumbbells and machines, which you know served me well, but I think I probably would have gained a little bit more muscle had I used the barbell bench press um, consistently. So now last year I had no choice, I had to get back under the bar again because of the lockdown situation. I was training in a garage um, and I've used the following techniques to make my shoulders feel better when I bench so I can focus more on the chest rather than the shoulders and worrying about them. Um, and I feel you know my chest development has, has improved slightly as a consequence of that. So the first point is soft tissue work. It's very important to you know, try and keep your um, muscles and joints as healthy as possible and a really really easy way of doing that but it takes any time it's just foam rolling and stretching soft tissue around that joint the same rule applies for any joint in the body you know your uh, knees for the squats you know generally want to foam roll your quads hams um, calves and whatnot and for the most part you're really going to help pain in that area so for me i've been um, doing a little bit of foam rolling for my lats pecs um, and upper arms and I really need to do more of that to be honest but that's that's something you should definitely bear in mind um, the second point is the number of warm-up sets now some exercises you might only need you know one or two warm-ups before you're ready to go you know maximal intensity with heavy loads for instance a chest supported row you might only need two warm-up sets there but for bench for squat you're going to need more warm-ups you have to cater that into the workout and if you have to do six seven warm-ups to get to a point where you're feeling loose enough then so be it. You know, you'd know, you rather do less good quality sets than, than more poor quality sets, in my opinion. Um, so that's something to bear in mind also. Another variable that can make a massive difference in terms of how the bench press feels on a comfort level is the grip type, the grip position, the type of rep that you're doing and the torso position underneath the bar. So thumbless or thumb grip can make a difference in how the shoulder feels. The width of the uh, grip is very very important sometimes a narrow grip feels a little bit more comfortable um, it's not always wise to follow what you would consider an optimal textbook form because it may not feel good for you um, i think that's a mindset that i've been using over the past six months to great effect you know just varying the grip depending on how it feels and i can't go as wide as other people may be able to it just feels uncomfortable so i have to narrow it slightly um, and accept the loss of strength that might occur because of the mechanical disadvantages but my chest feels better, I'm able to you know, utilize a bench press and benefit from that, and that's better than nothing. The type of rep you're doing, so maybe it feels a little bit better on three quarter reps, where you're keeping the tension on, you're not locking out, um, versus you know full lockout, maybe it feels better with a pause. All these subtle differences can make a dramatic difference in how the exercise feels. Also consider the uh, body position underneath the bar, whether you're using a really strong lower back arch, to almost turn the flat bench into a decline bench that can ease some of the shoulder pain associated with benching um, and if you have a lot of back pain when you're benching you can put your feet up on the edge of the bench and flatten out the back and you know this will cause a drop off in weight that you're using but it can alleviate that problem so setup is extremely important something else that you can try that really makes a positive difference in how the shoulder feels during the bench press is to perform a few sets of either cable or dumbbell flies prior to your bench you can incorporate that into your warm-up somehow um, and that really helps just to kind of warm up the area increase the blood flow uh, around the delts and the pecs and i find i just get less pain as do my clients generally speaking those who are prone to shoulder discomfort um, you could take that one step further and utilize an advanced training technique called pre-exhaustion um, which is a very difficult technique you basically start the uh, superset off with the fly 
either cable or dumbbell, take a set to failure, fairly high reps, ideally more than 10, and then you go straight into the compound movement, uh, so the bench press in this case, and the set will feel much harder at the same weight that you, that you would usually do, so you, you have to bear that in mind, um, but it would feel better. You feel more pump, you feel a better mind to muscle connection in the target area, the pecs, and less shoulder discomfort um, is very, very obvious straight from the get go. So I'd really recommend that technique for those of you that struggle with you know, uh, debilitating shoulder pain on the bench press and you still want to bench press, give it a go. Um, you know, it's frustrating not being able to do an exercise because it feels uncomfortable and uh, brick exhaustion can really, really work wonders. So I'd strongly recommend it. Just be aware that you're gonna be a lot weaker going into that compound than you usually would be. Another variable that you really want to keep tabs on is the number of times you're lifting heavy within a period of time. So for instance, you could track each month, how many sets are you doing are, you know, the one to six rep range for me, I would say probably six reps. Anything less than that is heavy for the bench press. Of course, it's all relative. Anything more than that, I wouldn't consider too heavy. Um, and some exercises you're able to lift heavy more frequently. But for bench press, um, I really, you know, try to keep that to a minimum and over the last few months I've been focusing on progressive overload at higher rep ranges so 8 to 20 reps and it's been working well and it, you know it may not carry over quite as well to your one rep max as say performing sets at one to six reps um, but there still is some carryover and you still will see some improvements in your strength if you progressively overload on those higher rep ranges um, so yeah really try to minimize the amount of times that you're kind of maxing out Unfortunately, I see this time and time time again in the gym, people con complaining about shoulder pain, moaning about the bench press, and every time they go and do bench in the gym, once or twice a week, they're trying to lift heavy. One rep maxes, sets of two or three or four, and um, you know doing this too frequently is a recipe for disaster. I've been there myself, and it's difficult sometimes to tear yourself away from that mentality. That lifting less is sometimes better. It's certainly healthier for the joint in question, um, but it's something I really would strongly recommend. You'll find you'll actually be able to increase the intensity of the set by using slightly lighter weight because you won't be as distracted by the shoulder pain or shoulder discomfort. You won't be worried about you know, something breaking when you're doing the bench press and you'll be able to put more energy into actually pressing the weight more times and putting um, as much tension as possible on the target muscle. Something else that goes hand in hand with reducing the weight would be to utilize a good spot. The added bonus of a spot is that the resistance will change depending on your fatigue level. So it's a very good way of increasing the intensity of the set without the slow grindy reps that you would usually associate that if you were doing um, the set on your own. So yes, they're gonna take some weight away and it's gonna become easier as the, as the set goes on, but because you're becoming more fatigued, you're still able to keep that tension on the chest um, the pump is a lot better, the mind to muscle connection stays better for longer. You don't have to worry about the sticking point because the spot should come in just before that sticking point. You don't have to worry about those two, three second grinders where the, the risk of injury is its highest. You're gonna get the most shoulder discomfort there. So that's something I'd really, really recommend. Don't be scared of using the spot. Um, just be wary of how often you do that because obviously you're, you're gonna be training past failure. The intensity will be more than maximal. And that can burn you out in other ways if you use it too frequently. Um, but I'd say it's a fantastic technique. As long as the spotter knows what they're doing to increase the intensity of the set, not at the expense of your shoulder discomfort. So thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much it. If you've got any more thoughts or um, points that you think could help shoulder comfort when benching, then feel free to put them in the comment section below. Any questions, again, just leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to check out my website. All the links to that and more in my description box. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay strong.